If you guys are looking for super cheap and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got 24-7 support. Guys, don't waste your money on packs. Hit up the sponsor. Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off of your entire order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to be going over and describing the legend coin making method slash weekly market rise and drop method. So here's the thing, guys. Yesterday... I came on, I recorded the video for you guys. You guys saw that I had almost 2 million coins. And a lot of you guys were asking, A, how'd I get it? And then also, I went through the market video describing kind of how I got it. But I was kind of all over the place. And that was a market video. Not so much the step-for-step, full-blown coin method. So I'm going to go over kind of how I do it. Now, guys, this isn't some, like, set method. This isn't some, like, sniping thing, guys. This is literally just following market trends and being able to take advantage of the week-to-week -week drops. Now, a lot of people were confused after that video. So I decided I'd make a full-blown coin guide for today on Sunday. I figured it was a good day to do so before everything starts dropping. I'm going to just kind of go over exactly how you want to be working the market and everything week to week and how you want to be working new promos and stuff so you guys can go ahead and make your maximum coins. Guys, this is essentially every year how I make my coins. I just went from under a mil to almost two mil. Just like that. I swear to you. I was on FaceTime with Zerk yesterday. We were just chilling. I sold some stuff. I worked the market and ended up at two million coins. It was that simple. Had to go make a video on it. But... Before we get into today's video, guys, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys, come join the family. We're 500 subs away from 23,000, guys. Let's keep growing. My goal is 30,000 by October, so let's see if you guys can make that happen. If you're new, keep subbing. Make sure to smash the like button, guys. Can we get 500 likes in this video? If we keep getting likes and things like this, I will drop some more coin stuff for you guys. So smash the like button, and yeah, let's get into this, guys. So first things first, as we get into this. We're gonna go check out my binder now everything in my binder is essentially young guys just want to throw in here real quick i will be doing the second gift card giveaway on this video right here this coin method guys make sure to go down below to enter the giveaway it will be a 25 dollars psn or xbox gift card depending on what you are all you need to enter is a few simple things subscribe to the channel make sure you have that noti bell turned on comment down below your console and you must like the video if once you do all those things you're entered to win guys so smash the like button subscribe like the video, turn on the Naughty Bell boys, and comment down below your console, and then I will be announcing the winner probably tomorrow or the next day. Good luck, guys. Enjoy. And the winner for yesterday was announced in today's morning content video. I sold everything I had, everything I got, everything I bought. I sold everything, just about. That's worthwhile value to me. Now, why would I have done that? Guys, it's very simple. It's called Legend Saturday. Legend Saturday has so many impacts on the market. You can ask any market guy who knows about this. Like Legend Saturday, you can ask casual Madden player. They know Legend Saturday is just different. Now, here's the thing. There's like three to four ways to work this. I'm going to start with how to make coins on Legend Saturday, and I'll go into everything else after. So, guys, here's the thing. On Legend Saturday, especially a good Legend drop. So, guys, again, this varies. Don't expect it to always be this amazing. If they drop this weekend Deion Sanders, it's going to be amazing. If they drop Lawrence Taylor, it's going to be amazing. Randy Moss, amazing. Vic, amazing. If they just drop, like... Kevin Green and Randall McDaniel may not be as good, but again, that's why you have to work it. It's always going to vary. So that's pretty much what I did yesterday. So when the Legends first dropped, you have to remember that everyone's pulling packs. So the, the best time to be on the market to make coins is 1030 to about 12 a.m. Eastern time. That is, of course, convert that to whatever time zone you're in. So when everyone's opening packs, everyone instantly spends 100 bucks. They spend their 50 bucks, spend whatever or coins, and they buy their packs. They pull Dan Marino. They pull Jerry Rice. You know what they say? I have to sell right now. Because I just spent real money, so I need to convert as quickly as possible before, before the price drops. That's not technically true. So when Legends first drop, this is the price. It goes here, 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 here. A lot of packs, a lot of packs, a lot of packs, a lot of packs, a lot of packs. And the thing just dies. The whole market dies. And then, worse. Because they keep adding on to it. Like, undercut, undercut, under, under. And people just keep going. And people just want to sell as quickly as possible. So before you knew it, Dan Marino was at like 190, 200k. So, I bought him. Bought them for like 185, 190. And again, remember, you can get snipes too. Don't just buy the cheapest price. It'll be like 205, 210, 206, 198, 184. Like people just drop it and you pick up the 184. And then after my gameplay, I saw that the market started chilling out. People who wanted Dan Marino bought him. Some people may have powered him up. Some people stopped auctioning. Dan Marino came up to about 260 ish. I sold him easy after reduction, probably like 35K profit. That's just a little bit there. Then I went ahead and I picked up a Jerry Rice. Now, Jerry Rice, same thing. Everyone was selling him instantly. Instantly, they were selling Jerry Rice. Now, Jerry Rice is going for about, if I recall correctly, well, of course, right now, it's going to be a little annoying with the filters, but yesterday, Jerry Rice, now he's 240. He went back down, but that's why you have to take advantage of the market the first day. Once things settle out, they settle out. So, Jerry Rice was going for about, I got him for about 205, 210. Then, after my gameplay was over and the market settled out, he was at 300K. 
I sold him for three. I sold him for 299. I undercut the guy by 1k. I'm that guy. Uh, after reduction, I ended up getting about 270. Subtracted from the 205, which I got him for. That's 65k. Yeah, Marino, that's a 300k I just made. Just off playing with them and selling them right back, guys. So now he's at 240. So that's the other thing. Some people buy them and like, oh, they're going up, they're going up. No, if you see a card is clearly beyond its value, sell him. Don't hesitate. I don't care if you start him. I'm telling you guys, I just sold my, I sold everything on my team. There was no point. Like things were such a weird price yesterday. Like I was like, yeah, I'll sell JJ Watt for 120k because I got him for. He's, he's a 60k card. I sold him for 120. I'll buy him back in a few days for 60. You just can't pass up on. That's free coin, guys. It's a coin gener. It's coin generation. You're generating coins. So. I saw a Jerry Rice 300k. I was like, I know for a fact an 89 overall Jerry Rice with that speed. It's just the hype 300k right now. I sold him. Two hours, three hours later, 240. So pretty much what we want to do just for the legend aspect is at 10, 30, 11, snipe out as much as you can. Full legends come out. You see an Andy overall for below 200k like Dan Marino, buy it. You know it's going to go back up. Or look at training values. Like, you know if they differ too far from the equilibrium point, like they're going to go, they're going to go back up slash down depending on where they are at. So I knew that was an instant buy. Now, here's where you can make a ton of coins, and that's because if you have a lot of coins. People may say, well, I only have 100k, how am I going to do all that? Easy. Come down to here. This is where me and a bunch of guys always like to sit on Saturdays. After I record my video, it's my favorite place to sit. You come to the low overall legends, guys, and people are popping out these slow set pieces like, cr like candy. Like, they're crazy. So, 82s, you're going to see them come up in the block because people are pulling so many because they're guaranteed in legend fantasy packs. They're guaranteed every pack. So, if it's even 10 people do a bundle... That's 10 packs, one per pack of minimum, usually two. You could easily get 10 to 20 per pack, uh, 10 to 20 per pack opening. Times that by 10 people, that's 200. Times that by the other hundreds of thousands that opened it, you're looking at a crazy amount of cards. So right here, guys, you can see this right here. So when they first drop, it'd be like 23k, 22k, 21k, 17k, 14k, 12k, one snipe, 5k. And you'll see things just dropping, a snipe. You'll see things low. You can first either buy them all for that cheap price, go complete the set, or just keep buying and then you put them right back up or put them up for like 22k. Make 7k, make 7k, make 6k. And you can do this for a few hours, guys. Now, that's just the Legend Saturday method. Now, here's what else you want. Now, here's the counterpart of Legend Saturday method or even promos, guys. This applies to promos and Legend Saturday. So don't just think this only works in Legend Saturday. So here's the thing. So new promo drops, right? New promo drops and the player that you can get needs to be powered up. Like he's just insane. He needs to be powered up. So a lot of people were thinking exactly yesterday, eight legends. So what do you do in this eight legends? People want to power up the legends. They're new legends. They're the highest overalls in the game right now, or one of them. People want to power them up. So what does that mean? Everyone and their mother is investing in training. They're buying training. They're buying training. How do you get training? People like to buy base core leads to get training. So what does that mean? Base core elite skyrocketed yesterday. Absolutely skyrocketed. Michael Thomas is 160. He was 115 before that. Um, give you guys a few good examples of some guys that actually skyrocketed really, like, really bad. To the point where it just didn't make sense. The 85s were one of the best values for a little bit, so I guess people were spamming them. These guys skyrocketed so much that I had so many 85s. You know how much bank I made yesterday on this? So look at this. Go to defensive tackles. Uh, oh, he's an 86 guy I'm talking about. Chris Jones is a prime example, and anyone who follows me on Twitter or down below knows what I'm talking about. Everyone I told to sell Chris Jones was hitting me up on Twitter saying thank you for the notice on that. The one guy I know in my Twitter DM sold him for, I believe, like 90, 96K, 97K. That's absolutely unreal. This was a 45, 50K card. Like, you just doubled your money. So here's the thing. Yesterday, training was a necessity. Everyone wanted training to power up Jerry Rice, to power up Dan Marino. People then they want abilities because there's new abilities that some of these cards can hit that other can't. Hot Rod Master. People want Hot Rod Master. Before you know it, all the lower core leads are drying up. Now the price of training went from here to here. But the thing is, you have to buy it at that point. So every core lead went up to their highest training value. So pretty much Chris Jones, who was like a 45 to 50 to 60k card, now 80k. So I sold him yesterday, I believe, for like 90. No, I sold him for 88k, 88 ish, 87, high 80s. So I sold him. I had him for like, I, when I got him, he was a 45k card. So I was like, I'm not gonna sell him he's pretty good 45k but this is why guys you can't get attached to your cards because most people be like but i love chris jones he's such a good defensive tackle doesn't matter take your coins now you have 80k to work with right now in a few days when the new content drops today or a few days when some other content drops and chris jones is like and training comes back down he'll go back down to 50k you buy him back now you made a free 30k you generated coins and you have the same team but it gets even better because that's not the only one it happened to fletcher cox 110k a guy that I really liked selling yesterday was JJ Watt. That made me real happy. 127,000 coins. 127,000 coins. I actually lost out. I only sold them for like 100 something. I did not sell them for that much. So 
JJ Watt before this was a 60 to 70k card. You could have bought him for 60k. If you would now sell him for 127 to 133 right there, you can make double your coins. So let's say you sold your JJ Watt, your Cameron Jordan for an extra 20k, and then you sold your Chris Jones, and you stacked them together. That's an extra 60k, 20k, and 35k, give or take. So you're looking at what? Over 100k already made in just literally 10 seconds. Like plop, plop, put them on, put them on. So many good cards. Lamar Jackson was 60k a few days ago uh, when the game first dropped. There's so many cards, guys. I can't even go over how many, but point of the story here, guys. When new cards come out that people want to power up or use abilities on, make sure you go sell some of your team. Now, go check the prices first, of course. That's why I always recommend you keep a good mental note of what you buy cards for. You can always click the right corner with the right stick and go check what you bought cards for if you're not entirely sure. But I'm telling you guys, that's the best way to make coins. Let's say you buy a 500k team. Trading makes the market rise 20%. You sell the 500k coin team. You now approximately have about 700k. I'm not doing a reduction here with that, but you guys get the points around there. 700k. Then, trading comes back down to its regular price, which means cards come down back to the regular price. You buy your team back. It's cost you 500k again. Maybe actually a big promo came out. They actually dropped 10% below, so you bought them 400k. Now you have the 400k team, so your team never changed, but you just created 300k. It's just so much room for there's so much profit margin when you follow methods like this guys it's just so much you can do with these like this this like thought process so make sure you're following that for everything so remember legend saturday always gonna be one of the best days ever to just take advantage of trading coins and sniping cars and everything but for any promo at all when new things come out guys first off when a new promo comes out always try to snipe cards you're gonna see like a big 10 promo drops legends anything go check the market always check the market more than less more than not there's gonna be cards going for super cheap because people are panic selling or new michael vick comes out go check lamar jackson's price people might be panic selling but he is free this year might change that impact a little bit but again check that out and then again always make sure you're selling your team when you see it like you the worst thing you can do is like i don't want to sell my team i want them for weekend league like on a, on a tuesday and then you don't sell them and then wednesday they came back down to normal price you're like wow i could have sold them today bought them back and got everything now the only time i don't recommend selling guys if you have them fully powered up remember that that's the one if you have them fully powered up with all these abilities and you don't want to lose all this training it's fine you don't lose too much because you can't refund abilities and everything but if you i understand if you have that in issue i i can see the ocd there of like not once power and team do it again that is the case hold tight i've done the same thing i understand that but guys the video hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that on about boys from join the family give this video a big thumbs up as always and if you haven't already comment down below let me know how many coins you guys made yesterday if you did follow any of my advice i don't know if the video was too late for you guys to follow it that's why i'm making this video on a sunday hopefully you guys can watch this get a good idea get a good understanding and then next week apply this as if you feel fit but that's about it for the video guys enjoy the rest of your day hope you guys enjoy the videos thank you guys for watching i'm out peace